Hello, this is Spatial Visualization, A First Look. This is going to be an introduction to spatial visualization. The activities that I'm using are from this book called Spatial Visualization. It's from the Middle Grades Mathematics Project. It's quite an old book, but it's a, a wonderful book with lots of great activities in it. You're going to need a number of handouts tonight printed out. This is the building map. Here are our first two examples. You need this handout. You need the handout for drawing T's. You need to have at least one sheet of isometric dot paper. Probably be good to have quite a few sheets of it. You need some kind of hard surface. I'm going to use this uh, kind of clipboard thing here because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using some cubes and you're going to be stacking these up, putting them on your work mat. You can use multi-link cubes if you want to to make your buildings. So this is a quite a quite a big challenge for me here with my video and all my lights and so on. So let's get started. Okay, there's going to be three views and the map plan. The three views are called the top view or the base view, the front view and the right view. You wanna be taking notes and pausing and rewinding this video as needed. In addition, for a building, there's going to be a map plan. And this is exactly the same as the top view, but it has numbers in the squares indicating how many cubes are stacked up in each location. So what I'd like us to do now is to take our building mat and place it on our clipboard. And I'm going to just put some, some cubes on here. So I have placed, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes on here. This is a random building. We call this a building. And if I look at it from this point of view, this is the front view. If I swing over here and turn this and look from this side, it's going to be the right-hand view. If I continue to rotate my clipboard, the back view is going to look like this. We don't do the back view very often, but we certainly could. If I continue to rotate, the left view would be looking like this. Now, you might notice right off the bat that the left view and the right view are mirror images of one another. Therefore, it's not really necessary to do both the left and right hand views. And this is the view kind of from up above. Now we're ready to do our first example. In example one, we are given an actual building and a map plan, and we're supposed to draw the three views. This is the map plan. The front is the side that's nearest to me. This is going to be the right side over here. And the top view is looking straight down from the top. I have built that building here on my building mat. Notice that the front side has the figure placed this way. The two that I have here means that there's two cubes high in this position. And now I'm going to draw my three views. What you might want to do is go ahead and assemble this building with some cubes. Okay, my three views are going to be the base view, the front view, and the right view. 
The base view is very easy to make because it is it is exactly like the map plan, but it doesn't have any numbers in it. Don't be alarmed at how easy that is. I should try to make my squares actually look like squares. Now, the front view, on the left-hand side here, I'm gonna have two cubes high. Then I'm going to have a cube to the right of it and a cube to the right of it. On the front view, well, in fact, in all views, there is no depth perception. It is only the outline that you would look at if you were looking at it from the front. The right-hand view has two cubes on the right and one cube to the left. There are only three cubes that are visible on the right view. I like to draw a line under these because the front view and the right view are sitting on the ground. The base view or the top view, you can imagine being in the front and being a helicopter and going up above and flying over the top. Now we're going to go to example two on our handout. And we are given the map plan and we need to visualize this. There's three cubes high here. There's one next to it. There's one behind it. And there's two here. The base view is very easy. It's going to look exactly like the map plan, but there aren't going to be any numbers in it. The front view, I'm going to see these three, and I'm going to see this one sitting next to it. So the front view is going to be three cubes high and one cube to the right. And now the right-hand view would be where you come around over here and look at it from the side. And I would see two cubes high. Then I would see one cube in the middle. And then I would see three cubes high to the left. These don't have to be perfect squares, but it would be nice if they're fairly close. Here's the base view, the front view, and the right view. In our next example, you're going to need the drawing T's handout. And what you're going to be doing is taking five cubes and making a T. And we're gonna be making an isometric drawing of this from various angles. You can use multi-link cubes or you can use wooden cubes and look at this on different angles. The first example is already provided to you. In the next example, I'm gonna take this cube and I'm gonna turn it slightly and look at it from an angle. And you want to be doing this in pencil so that if you make a mistake, you can always erase it. I think what I'm going to do is draw the bottom edges first and then build up from there. So I have one of my cubes over here. And if I build up here, This is more of the T. If you'd like to draw in these lines here, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. And here's the rest of the T. And then there's kind of an interesting phenomenon here. Vertical segments in the real world become vertical segments on the isometric drawing. So there's going to be a vertical line there also. 
We'll talk about shading here in just a minute. Now, just for practice, I'm going to draw a similar one where the T is laying down, but now the, the leg part of it is going away from myself. So here is kind of the bottom edge of the T. And if I go up from that, vertical segments in the real world are vertical segments on the isometric drawing. So now I'm going to be drawing the, the, the top of the T. We're going to see that the tops of cubes are each a rhombus. So here we have the T. Now I think I'm going to do a little bit of shading here. I think I'm going to imagine that the, the, the light is back here and I'm going to be shading the right hand side. You may or may not find this useful. I think I'm going to do the same thing here. Now I'm going to attempt to draw the T standing up. So the bottom looks like this. So there's the bottom three. And then the, the center leg is going to come up here. There's one more cube and there's one more cube. And here's the top of that cube. The top of the cube is a rhombus. The top of this cube is going to be a rhombus. And once again, this cube, this top of this cube right here is partially hidden. Here's another view of the T. And I think I'm going to shade this in the same way. Well, maybe I'll shade this one differently. Uh, I think I'm going to shade the tops of the cubes this time. And you might prefer doing it that way. Now, what I'd like you to try to do is to draw some more versions of the T and scan it and put it on our discussion board. Now what I'd like you to do is to download the Fundamentals of Isometric Drawing handout and I would like you to read over it. So please pause the video now and read the Fundamentals of Isometric Drawing. Now what I'd like you to do is to take your building mat and build this building. It's made out of eight cubes. We have three high back here, two high here, one here facing the front, and then we have two singleton cubes over here coming out to the right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw this on isometric dot paper. Now, if we look from the front, we just see the silhouette. If we look from the right, we see the silhouette. To get the isometric view, what we're going to do is turn the paper slightly and look at it on an angle here from the front right, looking down here. And this is going to be a rhombus, this will be a rhombus, this will be a rhombus, and so on. So now I'm going to get my isometric dot paper ready. Okay, the first thing you want to do is designate for yourself where the, the, the front is going to be. And may, maybe I'll make this a dotted line. That this is the front looking this way. 
And this is the right side over here. And this does take some practice. And so I oftentimes draw using the base. Had to erase there. So here's the bottom edge. Here is the cube that's on the far right with the rhombus on the top. Here is the cube that's sitting next to it. It also has a rhombus on the top. And to its left, we have two additional cubes. This is going to be three high back here. Let me go ahead and put, get this cube here in the front. Now realize I've been doing isometric drawing for many years. You might not find it real easy at the beginning. That's okay, a little bit of practice. And then, then we need this little stair step here. Th this line is not visible. I should not have that one in there. Um, I'm gonna draw the top of that cube. The top of that cube is gonna be a rhombus. And then here are the vertical, vertical sides. So here is the isometric drawing of this particular building. Isometric drawing, building. Maybe for completeness, we'll draw the mat plan in the three views. The mat plan is going to be the helicopter view with numbers drawn in. I have three back here. I have two here, one here, and two additional cubes over here, each one high. This is the mat plan. The top view or the base view is exactly like the mat plan without any numbers. And then we have the front view and the right view. In the front view, the only silhouette that I see is three cubes high with one, uh, I'm sorry, two cubes to the right. Kind of a big L looking at it from the front. Looking at it from the right hand side, I see st stair steps. Three, two, one. Here are the three views. I think I'm going to make one more video that shows a couple more things about the views and the map plan and how we can recover the map plan from the three views. Have a great day. I hope you enjoy the next video.